Okay, so let's get right into this. Spoiler talk, Pacific Rim Uprising. First and foremost, one of the things I didn't expect to happen in this movie was that one guy, the scientist, to be an actual alien. He started, he told the drones that turned into al that turned into kaiju to open the breach to let the kaijus in. So, so, my, my mouth was hung open when I, when we figured out he was an alien. I was like, oh my god! This movie was insane. I, there was, there was a whole bunch of stuff going on everywhere. I mean, the fight scenes were off the chain. The final fight scene was the, was really good. I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> and the two fights with, of, let's see, uh, it was Gypsy Avenger and Obsidian Fury, um, were awesome. The whole one in the city and the one in the Arctic where the Gypsy Avenger, <laughs> Got the um thing's heart out. Put a heart out. So I expected the city fight between Gypsy Avenger and Obsidian Fury to be, be in the final battle before they battle that huge kaiju. Oh man! Whoa. I do not know. I I do not know where to start with this. This movie was off the train. Oh, oh my god. I can't. I this is a movie I will go see twice. I'd like to see this movie in 3D. I saw it in 2D today at 3 at 350. I had a 350 screening at Cinemark Theaters and this movie was very good at mixing, at putting the action into it. I mean, they did a very good job on, on the action for this movie. I mean, the action was better than the one, the the sequences in the first movie. Um, this had this had some of the best fight fight scenes I've seen in a good long time. I mean. The fight scenes were off the chain. And in kind of a post credits credit scene, there was not much of a credit scene after the whole Pacific Rim Uprising logo at the end. It had what s seems to be the guy who considered to be an, a an alien in jail and John Boyega visits him. And told them that the Jaegers will come for the kaiju. So that definitely led, led to Pacific Rim 3. I hope they make another. I hope they make a third film of Pacific Rim. I mean, wow. This movie was a huge success. I mean, I will freak. I will probably freak out when it. If I see that Pacific Rim turned out to be a flop in the box office, it better not have been in the a flop up in the box office. Um, the one I hope to flop the box office this year is the Teen Titans Go movie. That movie looks stupid as heck. I mean, I hate Teen Titans Go. Why would they make a movie out of it? It's just dumb. I hate Teen Titans Go. Hate it so much. Well, I'm not talk talking about that right now. But I'm just talking about Pacific Rim. And, wow, holy crap. I wish I could cuss right now, because this movie was so good. I am going to cuss a lot, but I'm 13, and my parents don't like me cussing. Um, but, whatever. I mean, this movie was amazing. Off the chain. Freaking amazing. This is a movie I will go see twice in 3D. But I haven't much spoiled anything. Um, um, when Jake and 
What was her name? What was her name? The girl's name escaped in that scrapper. That scrapper. I'm um, Jaeger, the tiny one. They were running from that other guy. And. Uh, there were some funny scenes mixed with the action. I'm like. It was. There were some funny parts when they were fighting that big one. With the tiny one. The scrapper before Jake. And the girl got in jail, um, and all that. Um, the real funny scene was when that one guy punched the kaiju into the building, and <gasps> sorry, and gave him the two middle fingers. I mean, wow! <laughs> that was a hilarious scene. People were laughing in the theater at that. was a huge success in my opinion if it turns out in the box office i don't like if if it will turn out a flop i mean this movie felt like independence day resurgence the second independence day movie it came out two years ago and that everybody hated <clears throat> I do recommend you go see this movie. Just go get tickets. Get tickets and go to the movie. I mean, amazing. <sighs> Woo. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I think that's all I have. So, this is the end of my spoiler talk. Make sure to like, subscribe. Hit the bell with the occasional notifications to catch up with my videos. 100 subscribers. Woo!